Last week I came across a post on X that really took off. There is something interesting mentioned in the video, a new AI tool that can build surprisingly complex UIs. What is a complex UI? In my personal view, it is something that a junior front-end developer would struggle with. And that includes complex tools, menus, toolbars, input fields, complex interaction layers, including nested modals, tabs, collapsible panels, multi-step flows, data reach elements, including tables with filtering or sorting, dashboards with live metrics, advanced form inputs, context-sensitive behavior elements, such as UI changes based on user input, permissions, or external data. Also, complex UI is typically a UI that is designed for experts, meaning functionality is prioritized over ease of entry. Simple UI, on the other hand, is just a UI with minimal interface elements, flat navigation, linear actions, and designed for general users. Most AI coding tools can be used to create simple UI. However, up until now, there is no dedicated solution for front end specifically. And I was surprised to learn about Combi. This brand new tool that is designed exclusively for front end. These guys openly said that they don't do full stack apps. No. And that's rare because most tools over promise. However, the Combi team clearly outlined the fact that they focus exclusively on front end and they do it well. So I had to test it and I'm about to share my experience with you. I decided to build a personal project I've been thinking about for a while and the results were, no exaggeration, incredibly good. Let's jump straight into the specifics. Let's dive. Deep. From my experience, a lot of new AI tools try to build entire apps from a single thread, but the output, in most cases, it is similar almost always the same, same layout, same stack. And worse, some come with backend vulnerabilities or flat out delete things. The truth is, it's hard to build something rich and real, especially with one-shot agents. You're limited by context window size, hallucination risk, and poor security practices. What I discovered with Combi is that this tool takes a different path, a completely different approach. It specializes in front end only, and it does that extremely well as I already mentioned, you can build complex UIs feature by feature each time you save your code, move forward and never risk your backend. You choose your stack, including the component library and theme, so your project doesn't look like every other AI generated app and Combi stays away from your backend. So your API keys don't get exposed, no risk of database wipeouts. You can pair it together with something like Cursor if you want a more advanced backend flow so you use Combi for front-end work and Cursor for back-end, for example. If you can code even a little, this is one of the best ways right now to build real production-grade apps. Let me show you what I have built with Combi and walk you through the tool. To get started, you sign up, install the VS Code extension and launch the Combi tab in the sidebar. From there, you're in. Once Combi is active, you can enter the link to your Figma frame. Then you'll see options to configure your tech stack. You can also add context to your project using add references. Let's try something simple, a landing page for a SaaS, software as a service. Immediately Combi begins the planning phase. It generates a layout plan, schema, and component map. You can edit everything or approve as is. Let's click on approve plan and start coding. Once approved, it generates the code and before saving, it runs a live preview in a sandbox. So you can see it in action first. Initial thoughts? Clean layout, solid structure, fast generation. You can see it's not just pasting boilerplate, it's designing with intention. Now let's get serious. I used Combi to build something real, a construction calculator I've wanted to make for a while. I called it Shark Calculator. It's functional, smooth, and clean, all front end. Let me walk you through how I built it. Each time I added something, Combi generated a plan, let me edit it, and then 
then wrote the code. No backend touched, no hallucinations, just solid output. Let's try adding a new feature now. Add a modal to the profile page with fields for phone number and address. Combi is thinking and executing the task. Looks like there is an error. Let's see how Combi handles it. Combi is generating the code and it is currently out of fixing it. Let's click on preview, done, error fixed. Preview updated, model live, and that's the difference. It doesn't just generate and walk away. It understands how to course correct. Let me quickly call out some core features you should know about. Planning phase. Combi creates an editable plan for every prompt. It lays out sections, schema, endpoints, even themes before generating any code. Live preview. Every generation runs in a sandbox. You can inspect output before it touches your repo. Error handling. Combi loops through linting, build and runtime errors and fixes most of them automatically. Then library support. Combi understands 30 plus front-end libraries with human reviewed best practices backed in. So here is what I think. Combi isn't trying to be everything. It's not claiming to replace your dev team. It's focused on front-end and front-end only and it does that one single job incredibly well. There is no hallucination, no backend drama, and the output is usable immediately. If you're working on a real product and care about code quality, Combi is worth trying. You can start for free. For free. And paid plans begin at $20 a month. You can try it now. Let me know what you build. I'll include the links in the description. That's it for this one. Drop your thoughts in the comments and I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV.